Hi everybody, I'm Jan Yanahiro, and I'd love to show you some of my work, work that I've done on KPIX in San Francisco for Evening Magazine. We've had some great times. What do I do with my left hand? <laughs> oh, goodness. Why am I doing this? You can't cope with the Oakland stroke. We're proud of this group because they are from Oakland. Absolutely. What's your favorite song that they do? Why <laughs> you are doing this to me so big. <laughs> Love their music. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even, you wouldn't recognize one of their songs. It would hit you in the no, face. Never, never. I love their music. <laughs> <laughs> Name yeah, one of their songs. <laughs> okay. I never What do things cost here in Leningrad? Well, a quart of milk is roughly 43 cents. A pair of nylons, be prepared to spend $6. But if you want a really good pair of foreign-made jeans, it's going to cost you 100 rubles, $160. Cancun has been successful because it's more than just a resort with beautiful beaches and nice weather. First-class hotels were built right on the edge of history. A thousand years ago, Mayan kings came here to vacation. No one knows exactly what the word gondola means, but they began floating up and down the canals of Venice in the 15th century. It is perhaps the most beautiful symbol of Venice but its beginnings are very humble. Yeah. From San Francisco, wait. From San Francisco, do you have toads there? Yes. Really? But I don't hold them. Ah! Oh! Agents vlog musical. Oh! I, I, now you've got to encourage vlog during the race if you want him to race really well. Come on, is my dream? Here's your chance to kiss your no. co-racer. I can't. Big mushy kiss. I can't. Oh, sure. Is it time? I have to do this. Okay. I'm not even going to think about it. I'm just going to go, close my eyes, and jump. And then scream. The free fall, the best part of a jump. If one could fly, this is how I think it would feel. At 14,000 feet, the air is cool. It rushes up past your face, chilling but thrilling. Within what seems like a few seconds, I'm surrounded by the golden nights. I feel myself smiling, grinning ear to ear. I mean, how many times does one get to parachute with nine men? Really crazy. Correct me if I'm wrong, but did I understand that you have said you will never appear nude in a movie? If I was working with Bertolucci, who knows? Maybe I'd flip out my clothes real fast. <laughs> right now, John Candy needs publicity like he needs another jelly roll. His movie, Uncle Buck, is pulling down big bucks at the box office. Everybody in this tournament who has seen Uncle Buck, raise your hand. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> I took it back. I haven't. I saw the rough, well, I saw rough cut, so technically I didn't see it. You didn't I see the entire it. movie? I don't see my movies. I'm terrible. I get so I get so nervous watching them, and I get overly critical of myself, and I figure, why beat yourself up anymore? Just don't see them. I have never played golf. I played miniature golf. Really? Do you want a windmill up there or something? <laughs> or some kind yes, of uh, yes. obstacle yes. that make you feel at home? <laughs> So how do you top something like this? 
<laughs> well, <laughs> maybe a jock strap. No. <laughs> I have no major friend in my life, but we have a contest to find me one. And uh, <laughs> we gotta talk about that. So is it everything you've ever worked for, Raquel, up to this point? No, it's not, Jan. <laughs> Nothing is everything that you ever dreamt it was going to be, and everything is always different when you get there. So you have to be very careful what you want, as they say, because you just might get it. These neighborhoods are no longer divided between black and white. Today, it's red and blue, the colors worn by the Bloods and the Crips, the colors responsible for most of the gang and drug-related killings almost every day of the year. More often than not, the violence involves kids under the age of 17. It was that fact that brought an ex-gang member and a white filmmaker together in an effort to give these kids a chance for a better life. To be perfectly honest, we were a bit hesitant about doing this story, about coming here to South Central Los Angeles, a dangerous neighborhood notorious for drive-by shootings and gang violence. Even wearing the wrong color in this neighborhood can be a fatal mistake. And no one knows that better than the kids who are growing up here. The most tragic example of a child who was wasting away in a hospital is four-year-old Nikki. She was born in the same hospital that she lived in for her first two and a half years. And she uh, had never played with another child, had never been outside, had never, uh, was not able to walk. And she was in a very loving situation. The, the people there um, were very fond of her. But this the hospital is not a home. Wow! Oh, aren't you a okay, big okay. girl? The average lifespan for a child with AIDS is two years. So Nikki had already beaten the odds during her time in the hospital. But she had a lot of catching up to do because her development was impaired from spending so much time in a crib. It meant so much to me that she should walk. I just felt that that was the completion of our victory, that she should come home and that she should walk. I'm Jan Yanahiro. Good night, everybody.